Welcome to Sunday Reading. This week we read Snowmen at Christmas by Carolyn Buner, pictures by Mark Buner. One Christmas Eve, I made a snowman, very fat and jolly. I dressed him up in red and green and trimmed his hat with holly. I saw his arms were trembling as if he couldn't wait. It made me start to wonder, how do snowmen celebrate? I think that while I'm snug in, my, in bed, dreaming of Christmas treats, the merry snowman slip away and hurry through the streets. They glide down snowy avenues with lamplights all aglow, the sleeping city blanketed in fresh fallen snow. They pass by the toy shop windows framed with twinkling lights, pausing for a peek or two at holiday delights. The jolly snowmen gather from everywhere around for a Christmas party in the center of town. Waving to each other, they call out cheery greetings, all their friends and family so happy to be meeting. A few merry snowmen start trimming the square. Soon holly and icicles are strung everywhere. And then reaching high for everyone to see, they hang balls of snow on the big Christmas tree. The snow children play freeze tag or red rover or climb in a stack till they wobble right over. The mothers lay out all kinds of cold treats, ice cream and snow cones and dainty iced sweets. Then the dancing begins to the tune of a fiddle, all the snowmen line up and sashay down the middle. Someone says, hush, could that be a jingle? Then over the hill glides the snowman, Chris Kringle. He opens his sack with a jolly ho, ho and pulls out the presents, each made out of snow. Santa slips, sips his cocoa, the reindeer romp and play, and then with a whistle, they're off on their way. Such fun snowmen have, but there's still one more thing. With hearts full of joy, they hold hands and they sing. While the fiddler plays, the sweet silver bells ring. They sing songs about snow and the birth of a king. The children are sleepy. The grown-ups are yawning. The snowmen go home just as Christmas is dawning. They're all back in their places when Christmas Day starts, but these folks made of snow have a glow in their hearts. Their smiles are more tender, their eyes softly shine as the snowmen dream dreams of their Christmas time. Merry Christmas. I'm Jim Jamison and I wrote, What Would I Be If I Couldn't Be Me? Illustrated by my daughter, Stephanie Schistler. It's available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Have a happy holidays and good reading.